remember, the old IDE cables, they're always the same length because you can only have them be up to, I think it's 18 inches long. Well, SCSI doesn't have that limitation, at least the old uh, SCSI 1 or the original SCSI. So uh, you got people build their own cables. They didn't even cut the end off of here, cut the excess off very well. But uh, these guys built their own cable and they, they cut off one of the IDC ends that was crimped on, or else it just fell off. And uh, so I've got this cable running here, and this is the one that they used. It was in service until 2000. It's all the way down there. Because it, it used to come out of slot blank on the old case, and then it came into this, and then plugged into this other one. It goes up into here, and they used this, this giant old tower. You can see how big the thing is. As a SCSI enclosure, because it had a great big old power supply in it. So I'm going to power this up and see what she does. They're, uh, I think they're all, the same. well, one might be different. But as far as I know, they're all the same as this drive here, which is an ST42400N Seagate SCSI drive. Turn my fan off so you can hear. Oop. Better plug it all the way in, huh? Huh, I powered up once, but when I do want to do it on camera, I won't do it anymore. Oh, poop. All right, try it again. There it goes. Something's working. Oh, check it out. I bet you. This here was taped in the bottom of the tape monster. Destroyed. This is the jumper settings for the damn SCSI drives. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the, the tape completely uh, evaporated into nothing. I'm going to use this as a PC case. This is cool. All right, let's put the fire in the hole here. Fire up my test machine. Let's see what the SCSI hickamajig does. This is some kind of a weird, I don't know what this, this is some, another rack mount junker I found. All right, here we go. See what we get. Hopefully we come up with three drives. Got pick 2940. Oop, one drive, two drives, three drives. Yes, kick ass. All right. I'm going to see what's on these and uh, see what I can recover. i got Linux coming up on this machine now. Look at this thing. Full height, five and a quarter. I remember when these were still on sale. Well, they, they were in surplus, or not surplus, but closeout when I bought mine. But that one works. I've already imaged it. It was a DOS file system. It was a radio automation system. And I bet you these ones are the same way. Fortunately, this uh, thing that I've been working on has two different types of files. It'll either use DOS on the, the workstation like this one, or on the main radio systems, it'll use its own special kind of file system. So uh, DOS is preferable in this case, even though it's ancient, because I can more easily pull stuff off it. All right, we're booted up. Three old ass, big ass SCSI drives running, ready to get imaged. See you later.